Colossians 1.20 says, And through him to reconcile to himself all things, whether on earth or in heaven, making peace by the blood of his cross and all inherited covenants and those who entered consciously or unconsciously in the name of Jesus. Psalm 23.4 says, Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for God is with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me, and I declare that the confidence of God's presence brings courage upon your life, dispelling the shadows of mystery. In this moment of prayer, I declare victory over the grip of despair in your life. May you emerge from the death, strengthened by the grace of our Lord, and may the melody of his praise replace the symphony of the enemy's sorrow that is overwhelming you. I declare that for every misfortune that has caused you pain over the years, the Spirit of God that has spoken through his word in Joel 22:25, that you receive every lost year, every lost moment, every lost hour in your life, in the name of Jesus, I pray that the Lord himself will replace you every lost day. I declare that your misfortune is repaid 100-fold for you in the mighty name of Jesus. For your shame you receive double for every pain the Lord God gives you, a renewal of strength in the name of Jesus. May the comfort God gives you become the anchor for you to have everyone who would go through the same period. In the name of Jesus, I pray that no longer would you experience any misfortune, that the lie of the devil in your life, that you have received over the truth of God in your life today, that every lie of the devil remains a lie. God's truth in your life is exalted above every lie in the name of Jesus. I pray that every disgrace that wants to take and perpetuate itself, even into your family's life from now on, you have brought it to an end. It stops with you. It will not go to the next generation of your life and your family. In the name of Jesus, I declare that for every misfortune in your business, the Lord restores to you every disgrace that has happened to you with your help. The Lord has restored you to excellent health like never before in the name of Jesus, as God gave the D gave him the body of a baby. So it is with you that every misfortune that has come as a result of sicknesses and diseases, when people see you henceforth, they would wonder what newness has come upon you in the name of Jesus. I declare that no longer would you be afraid of the enemy's plans as he comes, because you know the word of God, you will arise with the word of God, and you will declare. You will have your freedom in the name of Jesus. I declare you free from every misfortune now and forevermore as you remain under the shadow of the Most High in the name of Jesus. I pray, Father, we've come to you in the name of Jesus. I stand even in intercession for everyone under the sound of my voice, knowing the Lord God, there is power in agreement. I come before you, acknowledging your sovereignty and authority over realms, every realm seen and unseen. I stand in the presence of your divine power, Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, recognizing that our struggle is not again flesh and blood against the spiritual forces that seek to entangle and ensnare us. I come before you, Lord, lifting your name in agreement with everyone under the sound of this prayer. You will receive grace and protection from every demonic cycle and get to the root of everyone's life. I declare the truth of Ephesians 6.12 over them, affirming that the battle they face is not merely physical or earthly, but involves spiritual forces at work. And so, Lord, may you grant unto them discernment to recognize the schemes of the enemy and the strength to stand firm in the truth. James 4. 7 reminds us to submit ourselves to you and resist the enemy, and so I pray that everyone listening to this prayer agrees with my prayer, will submit their heart and their mind and soul entirely to you, seeking your guidance and surrendering any foothold the enemy may have gained. I declare that the Lord strengthen your resolve to resist the devil. May you draw near to God as the devil flees from you. I ask for God's divine intervention to break every chain of bondage that ties you to these demonic cycles. Let the light of God so shine into the darkest corners of your life, exposing and dispelling the works of the Enmai. I pray for a release of God's mighty angels to guard and protect you from any harm or influence that seeks to hinder your spiritual journey. 
According to 2 Corinthians 10, 4-5, I claim the power of God's weapons to demolish strongholds in your life. May every thought contrary to God's truth be taken captive and obedient to Christ. Freedom. Freedom over your mind, heart, and spirit. May the Lord break the chains of negativity, fear, and deception that have bound you for a long time in the name of Jesus. Psalm 91, 10 and 11. God's word assures us that no harm will overtake you and his angel will guard you in all your ways. I pray this promise over you and may his protective hand be upon you, shielding you from the enemy's attacks. I rebuke any harm or disaster that seeks to come near your life or your circumstance. In the name of Jesus, as it's written in Isaiah 54, 17, may you find the confidence that no weapon formed against you henceforth will prevail. I declare the truth over you. Trusting God's divine intervention will render every demonic strategy powerless. I pray that the good Lord vindicates you and lets you walk in the heritage of his servants free, redeemed and victorious in the mighty name of Jesus. May the Holy Spirit fill you with wisdom, courage and discernment as you navigate the spiritual battlefield. May the Lord surround you with a community of believers who will uplift and support you in prayer and fellowship. I pray for you that your life is strengthened in faith and God's love be a beacon of light guiding you through the darkness. I thank you, Father, for your faithfulness and your mercy over this one's life in the mighty name of Jesus. I lift my voice on their behalf, dear Lord, and I say the words of this prayer, echo the promises within your word, according to Psalm 34, 17 and 18, and Isaiah 54, 1, 17. I bring, Lord God, this one before your throne of grace with humble hearts, seeking refuge in the shelter of your divine embrace, Lord God. As the righteous cries out to you, hear them today. I stand in the gap for them, trusting in your unfailing love and boundless mercy, whatever they may be facing as challenger and seem impossible, caught in the throes of the demonic cycle that seeks to ensnare and oppress them. I declare that Psalm 34, 17 and 18 are over them affirming the Lord God. You are attentive to their cry as they pour their hearts before you, Lord. May your comforting presence around them like a shoulder in the moments of despair, Lord, draw near to them as they draw near to you, Lord. I stand upon the promise of Isaiah 54, 7, which declares that no weapon formed against them shall prosper, and any tongue that rises in judgment against them is condemned. I pray, Lord God Almighty, that you remain empowered with confidence that you are clothed in the armor of your righteousness. Lord, I thank you for breaking the chains of darkness that seek to bind them, for your authority is supreme. I pray for divine intervention in their life by the authority bestowed upon us through Christ, as I rebuke any demonic force attempted to establish circles of fear, despair, or bondage over their lives, and pray that the Word of God penetrates the depth of their soul, dismantling strongholds and casting out every spirit that does not align with God's life. Speak the transformation over the minds. Be every thought be taken captive to the obedience of Christ and align with the truth of God's Word as they break the thoughts of negativity, doubt, and self-condemnation that the enemy seeks to perpetuate in their lives. Thank you, Lord, because you're replacing them with thoughts of hope, faith, and understanding of their identity in Christ. Intercede for you, I say, Lord God Almighty. Let peace that surpasses all understanding guard their hearts and minds. Declare over the freedom that comes from surrendering your will to God. Pray the Lord redeems, restores, and renews you in the name of Jesus, as I rebuke any generation or curses or chains that may have bound your family line by the power of the blood of Jesus Christ. In that name, I declare you are broken free from every ancestral link of darkness and open the pathway to the glorious light of God's salvation. I ask the Lord to release the ministering angels. They surround you and offer ring protection and guidance of God's grace, even now in your life, in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord, because the cycle of oppression is permanently shattered. Their eyes are open to the revelation of your knowledge, 
making way for a new season of freedom, joy and divine purpose. It is in Jesus' name that I pray with thanksgiving because it is done in Jesus' name. Amen. Evil projections are frequently likened to arrows carrying with them a symbolic potency. An unseen or inconspicuous sender often performs these attacks. Traverse a meticulously plotted cause aiming to strike their intended target. The sender strategy involves study and mopping to ensure accuracy. These evil projectiles are released indiscriminately in unsuspecting victims, particularly those lacking prayerful defenses. The lethal nature of these evil projections manifest in swift and unforeseen consequences, ranging from sudden deaths to intricate health complications. For you aligned with the divine as children of God, these arrows hold no sway. For you are temples of the most high positioned above principalities and powers the protection derived from this divine affiliation shields you from the detrimental impact of evil projection confidence of divine elevation serves as an impenetrable defense against the attacks sent by evil forces preserving the sanctity of your life and endeavors and so i would like to pray for you particularly those who have been the target of evil arrows particularly also for those that have suffered it. Not knowing because of the lifestyle that has to do with a low level of prayer if you need that deliverance, please join me knowing that you are in Christ and your eyes of understanding have been enlightened and so you can speak to the arrows and they will return to the Father. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you because you are our Father. Your word says no good thing would you withhold from us. It said we should call you on a day of trouble, and you answer us and show us great and mighty things we do not know. So God, I seek your divine protection from every evil attack that may have been released against everyone and anyone listening to this prayer. Father God, as we go into your word knowing that your word is the anchor on which we stand, Lord, we come and declare bringing forth victory and safeguarding from the schemes of the enemy. Starting with Psalms 64, 7 and 8, we say, Lord, but God will shoot them with arrows. They would suddenly be struck down. He would turn their tongues against them and bring them to ruin. Lord, we stand upon the assurance of this promise in the mighty name of Jesus as we pray for the defense against any arrows of male slander or ham that may have been sent their way in the authority of Jesus' name. I ask that God, you will return these arrows to their senders, causing them to fall harmless and powerless in the name of Jesus. I acknowledge that the enemy seeks to use the tongue of others to bring harm and chaos to people's lives. But as I stand in the presence of God, I declare that no weapon formed against you shall prosper, and every tongue that rises against you in judgment, you already have condemned it as it is written in Isaiah 54 verse 17. I speak a reversal of every negative word spoken over your life, and declare God's protection over your reputation, relationships, and well-being. As I continue to pray, I draw upon the words of Psalm 144, 6. Scattereth lightning and scatter the enemy, shoot your arrows and rout them. I invoke God's divine intervention, Unl scatter his lightning, to scatter every force, darkness that surrounds you, that has been dealt with by the enemy. Let the word of God and the arrows of his justice and righteousness rout out the plans of the adversary, render them ineffective and nullified by the power of God's mighty hand in the name of Jesus. I command any evil arrows targeted at your heart, mind or body to be intercepted and disarmed. May the angels of God as ministering spirits stand guard around you in the Name of Jesus, may they deflect every attack aimed at causing harm or hindrance. Let the shield of favor rise, high extinguishing all the flaming arrows of the evil one in the name of Jesus. I trust in God's promise from Psalm 91, 4 and 5. He will cover you with his feathers and you will find refuge under his wings. His faithfulness will be your shield. You will not fear the terror of night nor the arrow that flies by day. 
I pray that you will find solace and protection beneath the shelter of God's wind. Let his faithfulness be assured, guarding you from every attack, visible or unseen. I declare a reversal of every curse or negative intention sent towards you as I stand upon the authority of God's word. I command that every undeserved curse shall not come to rest according to Proverbs 26.2. Instead, let blessings and favors surround you like a show, as it is written in Psalm 5.12, deflecting every arrow misfortune and ham in the name of Jesus. I acknowledge the wicked may bend their bows and set the attacks against the righteous, but we take refuge in God's word in Psalm 11, 2 and 3, the refuge of God's presence. I lift you to God in this prayer, trusting in the promises of the scripture, for look the wicked bend their bows. They set their arrows against the strings to shoot from the shadows at the upright in the heart when the foundations are being destroyed. What can the righteous do in this moment? I declare that by the authority granted through Jesus Christ, every arrow aimed at you will fall short of the foundations of your life, which is firmly anchored in the unwavering strength of our Lord, as the wicked may plot and scheme in the shadows, seeking to harm the upright in heart. I pray a divine reversal over every dark sword sent your way, just as the foundations of the building which done the storms. I declare that your foundations established in faith and righteousness remain unshakable in the name of Jesus. I return every evil sword to its sender, nullifying its intended harm. May these swords aimed at your heart and peace fall harmlessly to the ground. The shield of faith surrounds you, extinguishing every flaming arrow of the evil one as we stand together in prayer. I ask for a divine covering over your life. May the Lord surround you with the impenetrable armor of his love and let the light of his truth dispel the darkness. May the enemy schemes be started and may you walk in the victory secured through the blood of Jesus Christ as I declare that in the face of adversity, you will not be shaking. God's protection surrounds you and his angels are camped in camp. The plans of the wicked are broken and the arrows of harm are returned void. May the peace that surpasses understanding God, your heart and mind in Christ, in the name of Jesus in the face of adversity. I declare that the foundations of your life are built upon the rock of Christ, unshakable and unwavering. The enemy's arrows shall fall short, for God's protection is a fortress that cannot be breached. As we continue to pray, I seek God's guidance and wisdom for you. May the Lord open your eyes to discern the subtle snares and traps the adversary sets. May the Holy Spirit guide them away from the path of danger and into the light of God's truth. May the Lord surround you with godly counsel and support relationships that uplift and encourage in Jesus' name. I declare victory over all areas of your life. May the Lord break every chain that binds you, visible or invisible. May he release you from the grip of the evil one and let the power of the Holy Spirit transform every aspect that needs redemption. In the name of Jesus, I cast out every spirit of darkness, oppression, and confusion from your life. Let the light of God's truth shine brightly, bringing clarity and peace to your heart and mind. May the Lord grant you peace, dispelling any fear or anxiety that may have taken root in the name of Jesus. I am confident that the Lord is a mighty fortress, a refuge in times of trouble. The arrows of the enemy may be aimed, but they shall not find their mark. You are covered by God's grace, surrounded by God's angels, and protected by the power of God's word. May this prayer serve as a declaration of peace, joy and joy over the schemes of the devil in you life fee, knowing that God is your protection and is always with you in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord, because I see every arrow sent has returned to the center in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for exceeding abundantly above all that we've asked or said according to your power in Jesus' mighty name. We pray. Amen. A breakthrough signifies progress, growth promotion elevation, and noteworthy positive transformations, encompassing advancements in various life facets.
The adversary seeks to hinder your progress, keeping you stagnant and preventing the expected advancement. This is precisely when breakthroughs become essential. They are indispensable in every dimension of life. You to push forward and to greater heights and conquer obstacles hindering your path is what we are doing now. So, in essence, breakthroughs serve as the catalyst for overcoming challenges and propelling you toward a more enriched and victorious existence. So let's pray to know that you, as a child of God, God intends that you progress as I pray against stagnation for a breakthrough. Let's pray, Father. It is in the name of Jesus that we've come again. Thanking you for always hearing us as we pray. We know even before we pray that you have answered us. And so this is our confidence as we pray for everyone and an agreement with everyone under the sound of my voice that you will show their mercy. So I declare may the origin of oppression in you lifey wither away as its root and be uprooted in the name of Jesus. Matthew 15:13 says every plant not planted by my heavenly Father would be uprooted. So I declare the swift termination of every rage from the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus. Psalm 37:15 says but their swords would stab their hearts their bows will be broken. The wellspring of satanic forces celebrating against you dries up right now and instantly in the name of Jesus, as I declare that the might and influence of the enemy rejoicing over you, lifey also crumbles in the name of Jesus. I proclaim the paralysis of any force obstructing your progress by the authority in the name of Jesus. I decree divine solutions to your problems and your life challenges in line with Psalm 34 119 says the righteous person faces many troubles but the Lord comes to the rescue each time the pressure joy of your adversary is curtailed even right now in the name of Jesus standing on Psalm 35 9 says don't let my treacherous enemy rejoice over my defeat don't let those who hate me without cause gloat over my sorrow I assert the terminat force of every satanic force rejoicing over you, life, fee and health, even now, in the name of Jesus. I declare today the termination of all satanic influence over your business as I decree the sensation of affliction and declare an end to the wickedness that surrounds you, as the psalm is proclaimed in Psalm 37.3. Still, the Lord laughs at the wicked, for he sees that his day is coming. I command the acation of evil laughter and mockery in your situation in the name of Jesus, and I declare that the adversary preventing your breakthrough falls and perishes, as stated in Psalm 37.20. Still, the wicked would perish, the enemies of the Lord is like the glory of the pastures. They vanish like smoke. They vanish away. I invoke divine intervention to destroy every weapon of satanic rejoicing in you. Lifey in the name of Jesus, I decree the manifestation of breakthroughs through the power of the living God in the name of Jesus, as I lift my eyes to the Lord, the glory, and the lifter up of our heads, and pray for a miraculous elevation over your being in the name of Jesus. I declare in alignment with Psalm 97 verse 5, the mountains wax before the Lord, the Lord of all the earth, that anything hindering you henceforth melts like wax in Jesus' name and in the authority of Jesus' name. I declare the breaking of the yoke of embarrassment that has held you down according to Isaiah 10.27, which says, In that day the Lord would enter the bondage of his people. He will break the yoke of slavery and lift it from their shoulders. This is my proclamation over your life in the name of Jesus, that the liberation from the yoke of terrible misfortunes, invoking the power of the Holy Spirit to break it, begins to happen in your life. Now the word of God in Jeremiah 38 says, For in that day, says the Lord of heaven's armies, I will break the with a yoke from their necks and a snap of their chains. Foreigners will no longer be their masters. Therefore, Declare any yoke of backwardness in your life is yokeen, for you can do all things through Christ that strength you. The yoke of repeated disappointment is broken over your life. 
In the mighty name of Jesus, I declare the yoke of disgraceful frustration, as is written in Psalm 23, 4, is dismantled as you walk through the valley, and I will fear no evil. The word of God says, for you are with me, your rod and your staff. They come me in the mighty name of Jesus. I proclaim the breaking of the yoke of wicked and a go that restraints you. I declare the liberation of spells of being deceived over your life. Romans 8 2 says, For the law of the spirit of life has set you free in Christ Jesus from the law of sin and death. The yoke of manifestation postponement in your life is shattered in the name of Jesus, aligning with the word of God. For still, the vision awaits an appointed time. It hastens to the end. It will not lie if it slows. Wait for it. It will surely come. It will not delay. This is your portion, beloved, in the name of Jesus, as I pray also. Psalm 27, 14 says, To wait for the Lord to be strong, and let your heart take courage and wait for the Lord. I decoke that the yoke of suffocating delay over you is logged in the name of Jesus. The yoke of sing stoppage of progress is dismantled, as declared in Proverbs 4.12. When you walk, your step will be supported, and you will not stumble if you run. Psalm 18 verse 21 For by you I can run through troops, by God I can live over the wall. In the authority of Jesus' name, I declare the breaking of the curse of slippery a breakthrough over your life in the name of Jesus. I decree the manifestation of the power of God for a remarkable turnaround in you. Life fee every shackle H in your financial breakthrough is broken, aligning with Philippians 4. 19 and my God will supply every need of you life fee according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. I invoke the raising of your destiny. Please help us with your breaking forth as in Ecclesiastes 4, 9 to 10. Two are better than one because they have a good reward for their toil. If they fall, one will lift his fellow. I decree the demise of every prince of delaying your breakthrough as it happened with Daniel. Every obstacle blocking your path to breakthrough is removed in the name of Jesus. Isaiah 43 verse 19 says, Behold, I am doing a new thing now, it springs forth, do you not perceive it? I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. I pray for the dominating power to break through and break forth in every area of your life in the name of Jesus. Isaiah 54 3 says, For thou shalt break forth on the right and the left. This is your portion in the name of Jesus. Psalm 23 5 says, you prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. I declare the defeat of every enemy standing against your breakthrough in Jesus' name. May an all-round breakthrough manifest in every aspect of yourself, and may showers of blessings rain into every area of your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Foreseal every demonic force that hinders your breakthrough. I pray for guidance for you to dwell in the power and the authority of divine breakthrough in the name of Jesus, as I declare again and again, Isaiah 41.10. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. This is your privileged child of God. Receive it with thanksgiving. As I know God has started a great thing in you, your ways in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus. We pray with thanksgiving. Amen. The association that you keep either have negative or positive effects on your attitudes, actions or physical or even spiritual well-being, your influence for better or for worse. But those in whom or with whom you associate, this is why the Bible says in Proverbs 13.20, he that walketh with wise men shall be wise. Still, a companion of fools shall be destroyed. And 2 Corinthians 6.14 says, Be not unequally yoked together with unbelievers, for what fellowship had righteousness with unrighteousness, and what communion had with darkness. Now this prayer is essential for you if you've got involved in any evil association, whether willing or unwillingly. Join me as I pray that you freely make godly associations. Let's pray, Father. 
I thank you, Lord, for the salvation of the souls of your dear children, for whom you are the ones who planned for it. I thank you for the transformative work you have done and performed in their lives through the salvation of their souls in the name of Jesus and the Lord God, knowing that they have accepted you, Father. They have discovered a foothold that the enemy has held, as I begin to pray in agreement with them, that I break any curse that may be operating against them, that the enemy has taken advantage of standing on the written work word in Zechariah 2.4, for there will be a wall of fire all around, declares the Lord, and I will be the glory in her midst. I pray for the protective walls of fire to surround you now, as you have decided in the name of Jesus. I appeal to the cleansing power of the blood of Jesus over your body, soul, and spirit. May the blood of Jesus purify you from any adverse effects of past associations, or even present ones, that you are about to live in the name of Jesus,